The following feature presentation is deemed unsuitable for the millennial. Purely because they were annoying whiny little shit knobs who can piss off back to the Steam community and wow 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 with the rest of their fucking loser friends. You know, I'm glad I got that out of the way. The game could have been offensive. Good thing I beat it to it. <laughs> Carmageddon. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the fucking coolest games known to man. Purely because I was there from the very, very beginning. And, oh shit, I've dropped something. Hang on, what did I drop? No, no, nothing of value. Nothing of value is lost. Hang on. There we go. Right, okay. Carmageddon. I've been part of this ever since it first came out. Um, which, actually, was going back to... Uh, brace yourself, here's a history lesson. It's going back to March 1997. So, yeah, 18-odd years ago. Um, and I would, back then, you know, being a young teenager, I... Uh, and young, young, young member of the Master Race, I would go off and commit to my monthly ritual of buying my copy of PC Zone magazine, uh, and then making my way home. I would afterwards, you know, gloss through its wonderful pages and read of all the wonderful things that were going on in the golden era of gaming before it all went to shit. However, with these things came a cover disc. Now, for those of you who are millennials and decide to ignore the warning at the beginning, okay, a cover disc was from the times of when the internet was still ruled by proper people and everything was good. I mean, back then, you know, we had on the internet men were men, uh, women were men, and it took you 20 seconds on a dial-up modem to figure that out. But back then, we also had very limited capabilities in terms of data transmission, and so cover disks were a great way of getting large quantities of data for around. And so, you know, you'd get a cover disk and it would have things like demos and videos and pictures and patches and mods and everything else. It was fucking great. And at the time, I saw a little video while skimming through this disc of a game called Carmageddon. Never heard of it, never seen it or anything like that. And when I fired it up, I was greeted with something spectacular. It was the future. It was my, my favorite game in the world, which was suddenly, you know, just, ah. Oh. You know what? To hell with this. I'm going to show you because I'm that badass. Go, roll the tape. But anyway, yeah, you get the general gist of it. It is a game of vehicular manslaughter, or as I like to call it, my morning commute into the office, which involves a hefty trip down the M5 and the M6 just outside of Birmingham. Because, you know what? Fuck everything on that bloody road. It can die in a fire. Probably not when I'm there, but anyway, you get none of that. So, anyway, yes, it is a game of vehicular manslaughter. So you have cars with blades and dragsters and everything else. Fucking so, so cool. And, you know, being excited and young at the time, I, I eagerly awaited next month's PC Zone when an actual demo came out. And the demo was a, it was a time demo, and it let you basically drive around a level called Blood on the Rooftops. And uh, you could run people over and crush them and pile drive them and kill them and everything else. It's fucking brilliant. And I really, 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 really enjoyed this. However, when the time demo stopped, I just basically, you know, start again and carry on. And then, about four or five months later, the game was actually released. Unfortunately, the BBFC at the time decided to come along and just say, no, no fun. Uh, and as a result, the game was suddenly shipped with the, the, the red blood suddenly vanishing and being replaced with green-blooded zombies and some bullshit plots about how the world had gone to hell with solar flares and everything else. And I just went, oh, I'm not interested in this shit. So, yeah, I was a bit disheartened when it first came out, but I still enjoyed crushing things. And then about a month later, the blood patch came out on the next cover of PC Zone, and suddenly the world was a glorious place in red again. <laughs> it was great. So, yes, Carmageddon has been with me for a very, very long time. And it stayed like that, you know, and I remember upgrading my PC and look at you know, how awesome it would suddenly change and more textures would be loaded and so on and so forth. And it was fucking great. And then, I think it was about a year or later, um, Carmageddon 2 came out, and that was fucking stupendous. Suddenly, everything was in 3D. I mean, we could take cars and smash them around lampposts. We could basically take pedestrians and cut their arms and legs off, rip them fucking limb from limb, cut everything in half. We could smash cars through windows. Glass was fucking everywhere. And I remember that month's copy of PC Zone. Uh, it came with a demo, and at the time, I just bought my first 3D accelerator. It was a 4 meg Orchid Righteous Voodoo 1. Um, back then it didn't even do 2D pass-through, it, you know, it was pure 3D only. And you know what, I've still got it on the shelf behind me, it's actually in a small glass case and it just sits there and reminds me of a time when things were good. But yeah, anyway, at the time my old lady was really unwell and I was stopping with her relative. And my 3D FX accelerator was in my old lady's rig at the time. And I remember actually getting on my bike and cycling over 20 fucking miles that day, 
just to go get this thing so I could cycle all the way back and play the fucking demo. That's how determined I was to enjoy this and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed it very much so. And then the final game came out and that was also shit on by the sensors. And then amazingly enough, another blood patch came out. So it's almost like we were sticking our fingers up at the authorities long before you and your little entitled bullshit rants were coming along the net. It was a great time back when the PC was a fucking powerhouse for gaming. But anyway, enough of this. You want to see what this is like. So anyway, as I was saying, Carmageddon disappeared into obscurity. They basically... Sai, the guys who made this, did something really quite silly. They, they took the license and they gave it. I, I can't remember if they sold it or they gave it. But anyway, it ended up in the hands of an Australian team called Taurus, who pretty much took it and wiped their ass with it. Now, Taurus turned out and basically built the game TDR 2000, or as it was called, Death Race 2000, which, and you know what? We don't talk about Death Race 2000. It was a dark and silly place, and pretty much the game disappeared from obscurity then. And it vanished up until a couple of years ago when Nobby, the, uh, the, the guy who ran Sai at the time, now a little bit older and a little bit wiser to the error of his ways, suddenly turned around and said, hey, would you like to see Carmageddon come back again? Needless to say, I smashed the monitors to pieces by throwing shrapnel, loose change and coins out through it. You know, it was like, you know, just take all the fucking money, I didn't care. So anyway, I funded this, then the alpha came out and I've played it ever since. And it's been great watching the game evolve and change and, you know, turn to what it is now. It did get released a little bit too early, but I put that down to them not having a great amount of budget to work with. I mean, what they've done for the money is fucking spectacular. But it was pushed out a little bit too early. Then douche canoes like Total Biscuit and all the casuals on Steam suddenly went, eh, my PC can't run it because I'm a fucking poor ass plebeian. So it vanished into obscurity under a series of mixed reviews and it kind of died. But here's the thing. Sai are a talented and very passionate group of developers. They've taken it. This is their baby. They've cherished it. They've nurtured it. And they've fucking turned it into something animal. You know, they've turned it into a whole new beast. And it has evolved through a couple of patches and updates. And it, the game is completely changed. It now runs like a dream. It has visuals which look spectacular compared to what it was like when it came out. And the blood, oh my fucking god, you could damn near, you could do Bob Ross with the damn stuff. It's fantastic. Anyway, enough of this. I'm going to go play it. So anyway, um, as I was saying, Carmageddon is a racing game, okay, and there is a career which you progress through. Now, if you've never played Carmageddon, the basic rules are very, very simple. There are three ways to win a race. You can either drive around the, the predetermined uh, course and pass all the checkpoints and win. You can crash and smash the shit out of every single other driver in the world, which is another way of doing it. Or, if you want to, you can go around and kill every single living thing which is surprisingly harder than it sounds. So you'll find yourself doing a little bit of mix, you know, mixture of all the other things. Often the night you end up just wrecking all the opposition and winning that way. However, over time, multiplayer modes came out and the game has changed a little. So now we've got new ways of playing. So you've got things like Fox and Hounds, uh, Death Race, so on and so forth. And I'll explain those as we go. But anyway, the idea is you basically progress through the races and then you go up a rank to rank two. And then you do all the same again till you go all the way up to the game's concluding mission called Beef Curtains. Now, for some reason, I don't know why that's not lit. I'll put this down to this being an alpha account and it's not being quite 100% compatible with the final thing. But nevertheless, yeah, it is it is very, very good. Hang on a second. What we'll do is we'll go and do some foreplay. Now, come again. as I was saying, there are various, various uh, game modes to play and I'll quickly run through those. Classic Karma, and I've just described that, is basically where you drive around, you know, three ways to win. Checkpoint Stampede, Basically, a point will appear on the map, and you basically have to beat everyone to it. Death Race, my personal favourite, is a straightforward race through all the checkpoints with blood, spatter, smashing, and everything else along the way. Great for if you know want to test your metal against the AI, which can be really quite difficult. Pet Chase is very much like Checkpoint Stampede, except for a fleshy meat bag will appear somewhere, and you have to go and press your shit a bit. Car Crusher is basically a destruction derby, and Fox and Hounds is like Tig, but with cars. Very simple. I'm going to go do a death race because I like death race. I'm going to do a quick five minute death race. Take the timer off. All right. And what we're going to do is we'll change the track. Stadium approach. And I'm going to just quickly change my car. There we go. Nope. Gone back too far. Oh, where was me? I am silly. All right. Here we go. You know, let's do this. Now, as you drive, there are six other opponents. Sorry, five other opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm casting myself, of which you can destroy. So hang on, I'm going to just quickly change this because 
she's a bitch. I'll have him. Screwy. Uh, we'll replace with him. Roman is a knob. We'll go and replace him with Cutter. Harry, we'll swap out with. Do 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 do. Oh, let's go smash up Ed because Ed's an idiot as well. And oh, why not? Let's get Vlad. Vlad the Impala. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Right, here we go. First off, fuck you. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Holy shit. Now, like I said, Calm Again is a racing game. Now, it's a physics-based racing game, meaning cars will pivot, spin, roll, twist, and fucking crush everything, depending upon the inputs you feed it. So it's not like a case of you drive forward and... Hang on a second. Oh! <laughs> so it's not a case of you just drive it like you would do if you were playing GTA or something like that. Hang on a second. Let me fix that. Now, Calm Again. Hang on. There are lots of points to be had for crushing people, and there's no predetermined flight path. You can go anywhere you like. Right now, I am being British, don't quite understand the concept of hand eggs, so I'm going to take out my frustration by killing everyone. <laughs> Multi kill! Hang on. Ooh, fat people. I've got nothing against fatties. Come on, the apocalypse. They're a great source of food. Grandma, no! BRB going vertical. Where are you going? Oh, did I get her? I'm not too sure. I got you though. No, 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 this is so, so much fun. As I was saying, come again. It, back then, it was a game of magnificence. I mean, you had physics engines, which no one had done before in a racing game. I think the hottest game at the time was Screamer, but I can't remember. Uh, actually, it's going back to the days of Psygnosis, so it probably would have been Wipeout. And, you know, other family-friendly shit like... Hang on. No, yes, no, maybe, no, hang on, I got this, yep, okay, yep, that's good, hang on, needs to repair, glorious, love that colour of red, oh. <laughs> five points, so yeah, we had things that no one ever done before, and it is a real shame it kind of disappeared into obscurity, yeah, laughing at. Now one thing that was introduced into this that wasn't in the previous car. Oh, Granny! Whoa, holy shit! She went up like a fucking Iraqi! One thing that... <laughs> we don't do casual races and we don't do hardcore races of them. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, one thing that was added to this that wasn't in the previous ones is what we call the Piss Selector. Now the Piss Selector stands for the Power indicator selector or something like that, I can't remember anyway. It's the little, like, thing in the bottom left hand corner. And the idea is, you can actually shortcut various power ups to it. Hang on. Oh! And you can spend money as you're driving around and buy them, and you can use them whenever you want. Now, there are many, many power ups you can choose from. Hang on a second. If I hold down an arrow key, I can actually select which key I want. So for instance, there are various categories, some that affect the player, some that affect pedestrians, weapons, some that affect the environment from things like pinball mode and lunar gravity, and you got stuff which you can use to smash the opponents around. Now, some of them are cheap, some of them are really, really expensive, uh, as such. I mean, actually, some of these prices have come, ta come down a little since the last update. Because they were like 40 grand a pot last time. 
Yeah, some of these have come real down. Hang on a second. Gordon Wall, what's in here? Leg rippers. This bit of scratch. Dismember fest. Give me head. Ah, fast bleed out. Nice. But anyway, yeah. That's the general thing. So you can basically set up shortcuts to various tools for your infamous carnage. Hang on a second. You know, speaking of carnage. Haha, <laughs> carnage. I made a pun. Right, no, come here. Now, I've been singing praises about this game all bloody video so far, and I'm going to go off and admit one thing I don't like about it. The soundtrack. Now, the original soundtrack that came with this was, to be frank, a, a series of tracks which were inspired by the original Karma again. And I'm going to be honest, I think they're pretty shit. Sorry, Sai, they are fucking awful. I mean, who the fuck put dubstep in? No, just no. Anyway, thankfully, you can modify this like I have, and I put the original soundtrack from the first Carmageddon in. Suddenly, it is a whole new experience, and it's so much better. Oh, hang on a second. Come on! Yeah. Grandma! Seriously, killing pensioners never gets boring. Oh, God. I remember when, um... I remember when this was being kickstarted and that, and I, I, I keep threw my money at them. And oh, dog, dog, dog! They were like, "What suggestions can you provide us for ideas and stuff?" And I'm pretty certain I would have probably got banned from the forums if I'd have actually spoken my mind. I kind of kept myself to myself because I'm actually a sick motherfucker. But in regards to pedestrians and that, I really wanted to see people in wheelchairs and people on bikes. I mean. This is really, really sick, but I want to see pregnant women as well, because, let's be honest, you wouldn't know what bo multiplier bonus you've got if you hit them. So you'd have got a two kill, a three kill, maybe even a six kill if you were from Birmingham. But anyway, that would have been fantastic. It would have made things more interesting. Not to mention some of the vehicles I couldn't put up as well. I mean, I wanted to have an NHS-style short bus full of retards in the back, which are affected by physics. So as you were driving along, you'd have you know, all these paraplegics and stuff in the back of the bouncing around. And <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm so fucked up in the head. Hang on. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said you could sit down, bitch? Come here. One thing they've done which is nice in this is back in Karma's 1 and 2, things like blades and stuff on the roof were purely for decoration. However, here they actually have attributes on them. Like, for instance, if you twat a pedestrian with a blade, you'll get a bacon slicer bonus where you cut them in half. You'll get a... Um, cast with spikes on them where you can prong them on the end of your pointy bits and they drive around flailing pretty much like that German forklift video that was doing the internet back in, <laughs> back in the day but it was it's a nice thing and you can also use that against opponents as well like some cars are really good for offensive against other drivers and some of them are great for ped mashing I mean we hang on there's a car in this driven by Ivan the Bastard called the Bear it's a big Russian green thing and I think no he's not in this race but it has a massive, massive blade on the front made of lots of Russian sickles. And it spins and it catches a pedestrian. It cuts them in half and sends the upper torso spinning off into the distance like a fucking Catherine wheel of blood. <laughs> it's just glorious. And if you drive alongside the wall or something, you can actually paint the wall with them. It's like, ah, yum, yum. It's delicious. I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, oh, where are we going? This is not the direction we want to go. Hang on, just clean that shit up. Speaking of shit, let's go this way. No, you don't want to do that. Ah, oh, look at that, under control. Everything's under control. Oh, yum. Still got a stretch goal right, I have to use it on someone. Get out of the way. <laughs> I really enjoy this. Oh, my shitter. It's a nice rear offensive power up. We can use that against the opponents. Speaking of opponents, there's one around the corner, and it's Ed. Let's go kill him. I'll take you, though. Ah! <laughs> that's 
spectacular. <laughs> Oh man, I love this. I'm actually grinning like a twat. No, I didn't kill Ed! Oh, I'm so used to racing far longer races, but yeah, that was spectacular. Really enjoyed that. See, even the cows are pleased. And Was that a penguin? So yes, I won. But not by much. Christ. Anyway. And once you've completed this, you can then go and view the Gallery of Destruction, which is basically the damage to every single car going. Also as well, they've actually now made it so you can paint the cars with blood. And in a bit, I'm going to go do a Bob Ross with a nice white car, and we're going to paint some happy little pedestrians all over the front, and we'll be using Crimson Red for today's painting with broth. So anyway, yeah, I got off immaculate because, well, I'm, yeah, perfect. Rusky, on the other hand, now... Carmageddon has always been famous for its damage models. So look at this. Oh, yeah, we got paint being ripped off and wheels being dismembered. And he pretty much has just had 88 miles an hour up his ass. Ed, on the other hand, has been bent like a banana. And I'm pretty certain that's his remains in the front driver's seat. <laughs> oh. Vlad. How's Vlad doing? Oh, Vlad is... He's all right, actually. Surprising, because Vlad's usually wrapped around a tree. Cutter's not doing too happy. To be honest, I've taxed worse. And uh, poor old Stig, he's had a few knocks and bumps. <sighs> so then, what should we do next? I'm going to go do a... I'm not going to do a death race, I'm going to do a standard race. Classic Karma. And we'll do a new event. Uh, let's see. What shall we do? What shall we do? We shall we do? We shall go. Uh, let's have a looky. And there's lots and lots of races you can play with. Let's do storage vats. I like storage vats. All right. I'm gonna go change car. I'll take you through some of the cars anyway. So yeah, car again has always had the eagle. Now hang on a second. Let me just change the skin. Put it back to how it originally was. Uh, change the rims. Now, the Eagle is based on Frankenstein's car from the original 1975 Death Race 2000 movie, which this game is actually based on. Now, it was a very, very old film from the 70s and featuring a very young David Carradine before he decided to hang himself in a wrong sex act in his wardrobe. It also had an extremely young Sylvester Stallone in there as a very angry man driving around with his mother as a co-driver. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's cheesy as fuck, but surprisingly good fun. And the similarities between this and Frankenstein's car are, you know, really quite, um, yeah. It's a it's a well balanced vehicle. Been there through every single game. This is like I think the fifth iteration of it. Anyway, the Hawk is a lighter version of the Eagle. It's a little bit faster, but not very strong. It's more suited for fast driving and crushing pedestrians and stuff. Good car, a bit weak though. The Tez. Now this car is. Badass. The Tez is basically the original Eagle in a new skin. It has slightly different handling characteristics due to its body and it's very low to the ground so you can tend to twat it off curbs. This was originally a, this is a Kickstarter thing only unfortunately. If you, if you, you know, contribute so much towards the product, you were given this as a thank you gift and unfortunately that is the only way to get it. I think there are a couple of mods out there to enable it, but you won't be able to take it online if you do. So, hard cheese Porsche. <coughs> We've already met Vlad, hang on, I want to have a little bit of cup of tea. Mm. Ah. <coughs> That's better. Ah. So yeah, anyway, Vlad. Vlad is a dragster. Can't steer, goes very, very fast. He's often going in the wrong direction on a mission. He's a silly thing, quite easy to wreck. Back in the original Carmageddon, fun fact for you, you could only steal five cars and use them. Uh, and this was one of the Fable 5. In fact, this was the first car I unlocked. So I drove around in this for a bit until I got something better. The Count Slash, it's a Lamborghini on steroids. The blades are great though for causing damage and you can get lots and lots of Ped Slice bonuses on it. Razor Bill was originally part of a group of drivers in the original car again called Auto Scum. Now back then there was four of them and depending upon what mood the game was in would depend upon which driver you faced off at. This was actually the tiniest little thing, and I remember crunching it numerous times into various hard, hard, you know, surfaces. It's now changed, and it's actually quite a big thing now. 
drive, it's not bad on off-road actually, but uh, it's not a great vehicle. The Toshita looks stunning, but it's a piece of shit. It was also one of the cars that you could steal in the original Carmageddon, but it had a big flaw with it in that the blade on the front was so low to the ground, you'd clip it off curbs and go spinning into the distance. They've fixed that, however they haven't fixed its god-awful handling. It's very stiff and not very fun to drive. Shame, really. The Cleaver. Now this is a surprisingly good car, especially in deathmatch. The blade bonus for the wheels on the side, apart from allowing you go Ben-Hur on pedestrians, mean you can smash the shit out of everything. Just drive up alongside it and you'll rip wheels off, body panels, you know, awesome. It's a little weak and can be a bit twitchy, but if you're going to kill someone, slide at them at full whack. And you'll, yeah, death. Instant death. The DeGorean didn't originally appear until Carmageddon 2 back in 98. Was it 98? I think, yeah, I think it was 98. Um, it's Back to the Future inspired. It's basically a Caddy Fat Cat light. Not very good, but it'll do for the time being. Mmm. Mm. More tea needed. Uh, if you threw so much money at Sai, you could have a car featured. At. Now, this silly bastard decided to throw lots of money at them and get his car featured. Um, it's a Lamborghini. Uh, let's be honest, the guy doesn't look like anything important, but the car itself is surprisingly good. It's basically hard mode. It's got a constant burner on all the time, so it slides everywhere, and it's surprisingly quick. Don't be surprised if it comes out of nowhere and catches you when you least expect it. <sighs> Poor Stig. Basically, this guy looks like he's crawled off the final few sets of Robocop. Um, it's been in pretty much every car I get him going. It's not a bad car, actually, but it can be a little bit difficult to see where you're going because of the roof blades. Still, not bad. Ah, here's the Ped Masher, the bear. Drives like a sack of shit. It's not very fast, but... Oh dear sweet Jesus, the blood! You catch someone with this, it's confetti! The Tropic Killer is another one that someone decides to throw too much money at and get their car featured. I don't know why, it's a piece of shit, but... It's one of the first cars in the game to have pedestri pedestrian affecting attributes. The intake at the front will actually suck pedestrians towards it, and the afterburners at the back will burn anything nearby. The downside is, because of it's got its low clearance, Pedestrians get, tend to get stuck underneath it, and you end up surfing a river of dead flesh. Which makes steering surprisingly difficult. The stiff shifter is an old classic that came from Carmageddon. You can now prong things on the front, which is quite nice. It's not a bad car, actually. This thing is badass. Don't it look, 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 looks to fool you? It's bloody nimble. It's more souped up off road bouncy car than, you know, heavy monster truck type thing. Uh, very fast, very nimble, uh, surprisingly good on armor and damage. Good all-rounder. The only downside is it's a bit big. I like to call this thing the zombie car because it doesn't fucking die. The Caddy Fat Cat is a beast purely because it doesn't die, but it also handles pretty well and it hurts if you catch it, if it catches you. Kill it the first chance you get. Another douche canoe who threw so much money at the project. I think apparently this is supposed to be an Australian U, which is some sort of like V8 pickup thing. I don't know what the hell. He's a surprisingly good driver as well for when it got uh, the AI on this, uh, and he will give you a run for your money if you're playing Death Race. <laughs> it's a fucking plane. What can I say? It's a plane with wheels. Um, the fastest car in the game. Uh, it's basically Vlad the Impaler on easy mode. It, it, it handles much better. Um, it's big, it hits hard, and it's stupidly fast. If you want to know what Nobby looks like, the guy who runs Sai, that's him in the bar left. The Towmeister was one of the other, uh, one of the Fable 5 that you could steal in the original Karma. Um, but it's kind of changed a little since then. Now, the crane arm swings around unpredictably, which can cause havoc with driving. Not that it really matters, because, yeah, whatever catch you catch is going to die anyway, but, yeah. Oh god. Electric blue. I hate this car. Alright, it, it's it's fun to drive, but it has a what we call pedestrian electro bastard rate. So basically if you drive near anything, it just instantly gets fried and turned into, you know, bacon. This is great for killing lots of pedestrians, but it's also quite underwhelming because you don't get that satisfying splatter of when you hit them. It's a bastard to race against and it has the worst engine notes ever. The Lumbra. Um 
this was in the original Carmageddon. The, back then, there was actually two of them. There was Harry and his sister. Although, personally, I'm convinced they're the same person. Um, Harry's only in this one. Uh, but you can paint it up to look like his sister's pink, uh, pink lumber. It's a surprisingly good vehicle. Um, well armoured, hits hard, it's just a little slow. So you, you, you crank the engine in it and off it goes. Oh God. Don Dumpster. Um, typical American. Eats everything. Uh, is also very slow and not very bright. The thing is, you can make a lot of money off Don if you know how to play him right. He'll leave you alone for the majority of it. Um, but if you can get a decent power up and give him a quick slap, because of the size of him and his damage at modifier, he can give you a lot of money. One thing that's come back as well in this is the cops. Now back then, you know, we used to have cops that used to drive around killing you um, and not giving a shit about pedestrians in the way. They disappeared for Karma 2. I they did come back for Karma 3, TDR 2000, and then they, you know, well, we haven't had one since. Now they're back and they hurt a lot. Fun fact for you, this used to have a roof-mounted minigun in the original, but it didn't really fit with the environment, mainly because you couldn't use it. Now it's been replaced with a speed camera. Unfortunately, it doesn't flash when you go past it at speed, but whatever. Anyway, these things hurt pretty hard. Police also now have come in different flavors. So now we have the cunt. It's basically a smart car bolted up to look like a cop car, and it has the best description of a driver in racing game history. Seriously. <laughs> and then there's the suppressor. You want to win with a suppressor? Park it. You want to kill everyone with a suppressor? Park it. You want to win everything, including doing laps? Park it. Seriously, just, just park it. The damage modifier on this is just stupid. If you put it at the front of the grid, slam the anchor on, and everything just plows into the back of you and dies. And then we're back to the eagle. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this white, because I said I'd do some Bob Ross. Uh, I'm going to change the rims on it, because we're going to look pretty as we do it. Oh yeah, one thing I should mention as well. Upgrading cars. Now you see the three slots in the corner here. Basically... These are what we call the APO slots. You have your armor, your power, and your offensiveness. Armor, is the name implies, is your armor. Power is your engine, and offensive is how much damage you do to opponents. Now, to upgrade these, there are tokens scattered around the maps in career mode. Pick it up, and then you can spend it to buy a new upgrade. Now, there's a trick to this in that you can only... Hang on a second. Out of 15 slots, you can only equip 12, meaning you have to play to the cards of strengths and weaknesses. Some cars are well, well armoured, so you don't need to put you know, armour into it, and some of them are quite slow. The Eagle, I find it's a nice base, it's a very balanced car, and I tend to use it a lot for death racing. So I, what I do is I reduce the armour uh, slightly, I increase the engine output, and I reduce the offensiveness. So basically I've got a decent armour, very fast engine, and I don't really care about twatting opponents because I'm not really there to do that. But yeah, you can change it to whatever you want. So yeah. Uh, no, 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 I want, a, I want the eagle. Give me the eagle. There we go. Right, now then, let's go and cause some chaos. No, go back to four play. Classic karma, three laps. Starting time, one minute thirty. Do it. Uh, bring Snakey into it, get rid of Twig, because he's a knob. Eh, I'll just Uh, yeah, we'll bring Screwy into it, and we'll replace Psycho with the Stiff Shifter. And we'll replace Don. Let's get the Bear into it. There we go. You know what, I'm going to let this go. And let's begin. I have a power up. Oh, Jesus God, I kill everything. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, you can't touch this. Yeah, I should also mention as well, you can open your doors as well for hilarity. Oh, it's stuck open in one close. Yeah. It's a cow! Hang on. I need to either fix this door or get rid of it. Ah! Okay, note to self. Kill him. Kill him with fire. Delicious. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I got the mostly armless power up. Start ripping limbs off pedestrians. Oh, God damn it, screw me. Will you fuck off? Oh! Carmen as well also has a replay feature so I can zoom all the way back and we can admire the destruction. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I need to kill him. Stretch goal. This could cause some interesting results. Let's quickly select it. Ah, I killed Ivan. Ah! Oh! <laughs> On your head, my son. Stuck. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, that's a lot of arms just been torn off. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I'm so going to kill him. I'm gonna kill him till he dies from it. Uh, whoa, what the hell? My animal power did nothing. Alright, so get some more heads. Ah, pelvic thrush. This could be interesting. Uh, yeah. Fix that. Right, let's go visit Weapon Island. There's a part of this map I call Weapon Island. It has lots of toys that we can use to destroy everything with. Let's go visit it. Oh shit, the law. Hi, Fatty. We are painting some fantastic Bob Ross all over the front here. Yeah. No! Shh. Oh well, I'll be swimming. No, yeah, no, I'm gone. Oh. Alright, here we go, Weapon Island. Lots of toys to play with. Solid granite car, I am invulnerable. You cannot hurt me. Alright, let's go wreck some shit. Oh! That must have hurt. Are you coming to play? Or am I going to have to come get you?
Come on, son. Eat the mine. No, I'm not going down there. It's a silly place. Alright, where's Douche Canoe? There he is. He's stuck. Doing. Yes! Got it with the mine. Up oh, you go. Let's go fix this car, shall we? God. Holy shit balls, will you just die? Oh. <laughs> Alright, fire power up. This is completely unnecessary, but I feel it must be done. <laughs> That's gonna look fantastic in the damage replay. Get out of the way. Alright, I'm hoping he's gonna get out in a second. Because I ain't going down there, let's go get him. He's stuck in a hole at the moment. Nope. I got this. Yep. Switch it, little bastard. Oh! <laughs> Slide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I regret nothing. Oh! It's bacon time! <laughs> Everything burns! Oh! If running over people is wrong, I don't ever want it to be right. <laughs> oh, yep, he's out. Let's go get him. Fix that shit. Whoops, you know. Oh, best things in life are free. Come on. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, he got wrecked. What killed him? Hang on. I need to check this out. Hang on. What killed him? What killed him? What killed him? Grim. Did Grim fall on his own sword? I do not know. Let's have a look. What, what happened to poor Grim? Yep, he basically decides he'd had enough of the world. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at the damage count. This is going to be spectacular. <sighs> 
aside from needing some new paint up. Yeah, I'm alright. Ah, oh, poor Ivan. I didn't wreck him too early though, so uh, yeah, it's kind of my fault. Oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I think he's dead. Um, yeah, he's gotta be dead. <laughs> Holy shit! He hit the wall so hard he bent himself. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Snakey, what the hell happened to Snakey in the end? I can't remember. Did I hit him or did? It... I think I must have destroyed him. Yeah, and there's Anna. Where was the impact of the anvil? Oh, oh, there it was. <laughs> Press your shit in, my dear. Press your shit in. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the clock. I've got a bit of time left. I've got a bit of time left. Let's let's do something else, shall we? Uh, I got an idea. Who wants to see lots of cows die? Uh, classic karma, storage vats. Nope, that's the... Ah, oh, blend the past? Nope. The cattle grid. The thing is, I'm running out of time. I ain't got much... Uh... Oh, here we go. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's do something quick and filthy, shall we? Let's go for car crusher. And uh, we'll change our car. The cleaver. Now, I want to paint this differently. Uh, rims. Change the rims. Skins. Uh, let's go see. Yeah, I'll go with yellow. Because why not? Cleaver is mine. Yeah, I'll do. Wreck face. Wreck face. No, we're not having Stella. Don't care. Uh, we'll go with Roman. Otis will take forever to die, so we're replacing with Cutter. Terrible twins are also pretty bad, so we're replacing with Ed. Harry, uh, we'll replace Harry with... I don't know. Nookins, yeah, why not? And Grimm's had a bit of too much fun, so what we'll do is we'll swap him out. Yeah, we'll let the bear play, because I did kind of kill the bear a little too hard to begin with. Five, four, oh, look at that. Yeah, fuck you. Come here, son. So I hear you have wheels. That's a real shame. <laughs> this thing is just evil. Oh, whoa, wow, 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 ho. Oh, what that's a uh, who, who the hell got that? Oh yes, Pent! That's a good power-up. We like that one. And the cops Oh shit! Son of a bitch! Minus one. This is not happening. Oh shit! Yeah, can I stop dying, please? Just a. That'd be nice. Yep, yeah, very nice. Oh god, what am I doing? Yeah, no, I got this. Maybe not. I'm a fish. I'm trying to recover. What do you think I'm trying to do? God damn it. Ah, oh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm fucked up, but I'm up. It's pretty offensive, but it lacks armor. This guy is starting to do my head in. Come on, son. Enjoy the blades. Oh, God, it's Ivan. Oh, I'll do. Yeah. 
I don't believe it. Roman is wrecking everything. This is fucking not on. No. Okay, and I've got to, I've got to stop. Ivan. No Roman. Something Russian. Speaking of Russians. If I can just cut his wheels off, that'll slow him down. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Not alongside me, son. Oh, lost the wheel. That's a good thing. God's going to give me three more. Oh, this is surprisingly fun in multiplayer, this is. What's this? Ah, oh, smashy glass. I need a red barrel. Probably something offensive. Come on, offensive. That'll do. Now to get back and use it before it runs out. What the hell? Oh, slaughter mortar. No idea when I pick that up. Why on earth is Max going mental? Oh, going up the ranks. Roman is still in the lead. This is not on. What the hell is going on with my driver? Get off me. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I found a bug. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Max, stop it. Time. I'm not going to do this. Oh, Bollocks. <laughs> oh, I hate Roman. To be honest, I have got this on hard mode, so. <laughs> Finished up my tea. Oh, so yeah, come again. Hilariously good fun. Let's have a look at the damage anyway at the end. So yeah, I um yeah could have done better. Snakey. <laughs> oh, why did you not die? Look at the state of you. Why are you still alive? Fuck you. Russian shit. Cutter's not looking too healthy. Ed, yeah, I did wreck his shit. And then Ivan is not happy either. So, yeah. Carmageddon. It is a quality, quality game. Good fun. Very, very good fun. Really enjoy it. Um, I strongly recommend you check it out if you want something fun. But bear, bear in mind, it is a physics-based racer. So cars, like I said, will tumble, spin, roll, and crash, and dive, and duck, and dip, and weave, and everything else. So you need to... 
if you suck at racing games and you don't like that kind of shit, if you're looking for something burnout, you're not going to get it here. But if you want something that's going to have that element of randomness from physics, perfect. It's all you want, mate. It's all you want. Anyway, I'm going to disappear in that because I know I, I should have done this last week, but uh, problems at work, and then I was going to do it at the start of the week, and then I did do it, and I found I had lots of audio errors in it. Um, because it was, you know, loading screens and hard drive access and stuff, and hopefully I'll fix that now, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, mainly because I just stopped recording during the loading screens. Fingers crossed that sorted it. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, I've got a clue what the hell I'm going to do next. Um, I'm not going to do more Anno, because... Oh, God. 22 or 5 in its current state is shit. And that's me being blunt. It's, it's featherweight. It's missing stuff. I mean, I, I got to the end and just went... Is that it? Uh, it needs more content. It needs. I don't know what the hell's gone wrong with it. Fingers crossed, though, the, the expansions that come out, you know, with the Orbit stuff and Tundra, and fingers crossed, you know, that actually gives it some meat and bones and, you know, oh, uh, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have a look to rummage in my library as well, see what I can do for next week. If I can do anything next week. God knows what I'm doing. Oop. But anyway, I'm off. I need to go get some dinner. I'm hungry. I'll catch you all later. Okay.